I'm Stroppi and I want to show you a model and the ingredients to make one so that when we meet I can show you how to do it and you've got all that you need. So this is the model that we want to do. Um, so as you see it's a bunch of straws, in this case paper straws, that are strung up with a string running through them. And in some places there is these little, wo little wooden beads. So if we were to count them we find it's a dozen straws, 12, and it's half a dozen beads, so six beads and 12 straws and one string. And that is all that is like the, the bare minimum to make them. So this would be a dozen straws. You can hold them like this and you see it's a dozen on, at one glance. Um, this is the string that I'm using, which is a cotton cotton string, cotton yarn. I'm not precisely sure how you would call this in English, um, but it's a, a very nice kind of rather strong line. So I can't just break it like this. There's ways to break it with hands. So if you can't do that, you might need some scissors or other other kind of device to cut them in the end. But this is a rather strong string um, and there is always a bit of a balancing act with the materials. You know, you need to have a string that you can get at least two times through the straws and it should fit through the bead. But you don't want it to be so thin that it just cuts into the straws. So, you know, there is some some tuning over time when you do a few of them you might find other materials to do them. Um, so such a string, such straws and then what I'm using is these these tiny little wooden beads. I mean they're not tiny tiny, I've got way smaller ones but these are a very good size for this kind of model. And the model is doing the following. So it's a, a bundle of strings, they're all tied together and we could try to hold these straws in such a way as to um, have them be the shape that we call a cube. However, they aren't able to hold that shape on their own. However, if we take them in such a way that we put if this is, I, I call this a finger, here is the point, the, the, the tip of the finger, and that I can put into this corner of what I call the corner of an eye, because here's an eye. And if we do that and we make sure that every corner has exactly four fingers that point at it, then this organizes itself into still a very dynamic organism but this is an organism that is structured and therefore able to hold its shape and you see how even now down to the last step it's still moving and now I'm bringing in the last connection and it's still moving but it's moving as one and every one of the members is holding each other in their respective places. So this is a very useful kind of toy. It's just also much fun to play with. You can take it everywhere. It fits in a pocket. It's got quite some volume for Quanta. It's an eight eyes. That's what I would call this. And there's much more we can talk about this and its family um, of spheres. Yes, but this is this is what you need. And in you know there are some upgrades if you like because if you do play with such a thing if one plays with it 
chances are the the straws get bent or otherwise you know the 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 string cuts into the ends of the straws so when they they get bent the the, the straws what i take as these kinds of skewers or dowels this is just wood um, and i tied some string around that so that it is a little wider and that way when I put it into the straw, I, I make sure that nothing sticks out of the straw. And with this in there, the bend in the straw doesn't matter anymore. And it's actually much stronger than before. And that's one kind of upgrade. And another one might be nice if you do want to play with this and if something happens Sometimes the, the string cuts into the end of a straw and that's where I put some tape around them so that it doesn't cut any deeper. This one I actually broke by accident. I threw it as high as I could and it flew very nice and then I tried to catch it with my foot but I kicked it rather than catch it and I just kicked through that finger. Happens, but it's not no, no problem. I could still repair it so if you want to learn how to make one of these and then have them and have a lot of fun with them that's what you need six oh uh, no sorry 12 straws a dozen if you like them colored then do that but otherwise take what you get doesn't have to be paper straws can be plastic if that's what you get it could be bamboo it could be anything you find that is a pipe um, wooden dowels if necessary um, beads wooden beads per preferably but anything goes that isn't too small or too big again that's a bit of a tuning process oh and then for the string there's one more thing we will need to get the string through the straws and the beads I'm using I'm creating these kinds of needles or loops of very thin kind of wire. I th the, you can barely see this wire on the, on the video, but it's just some, I think it's copper wire, might be with an iron core, whatever. It's thin enough to even get through very small beads, um, but not too thin because otherwise it will break too soon or cut one's finger if it doesn't break so to make those needles you need some wire and something to cut the wire with so here is something I'm using which is a, a kind of nipper um, wire straws string beads and that's it. I'm looking forward to playing together and wish you a good time until then. Take care.